Uh, first of all, I would like to apologize for my English and uh, thank you for inviting me for this meeting. Thank you very much. Why measuring plant available silicon in a fertilizer? There are a number of silicon sources in the market for use as a soil amendment or fertilizer. However, their agronomic efficiency is dependent on their reactivity or solubility rather than only the total silicon content. Some silicon fertilizer may have high level of total silicon, but most time this is not silicon plant available. It's very interesting in Brazil, maybe we are selling something from uh, 200 to 300,000 tons of uh, calcium magnesium silicate. But we may have something like 20 different products. And I would say that only a few of them can be used as a silicon source to the crops. Here is some of our research. Uh, this is rice, uh, filled, uh, filled rice uh, experiment, where we have at least uh, six different uh, silicon sources, and only one of them was effective. Albright Wilson, the second one, second one uh, we got almost double yield from 2,200 kilograms of rice up to 4,100 kilograms of rice. When we look at all the other silicon sources, we couldn't see any difference between them and the control and the checkpot. Uh, the yield increase due it by the use of this material was because we could reduce leaf blast severity incidence and also the incidence of panicle blast. Another field experiment, we tried to correlate rice yield in this and uh, silicon content. If we look at this uh, figure, you notice that when we Take in account the total silicon from the fertilizer, we had no correlation at all. But when we measure the plant available silicon, we get a nice correlation, 0.99. So it means that once we have available silicon in the fertilizer, we'll get increased yield. This is another paper where we measure the percentage from the total content silicate from the fertilizer, release it after 20 days using the uh, sodium carbonate plus ammonium nitrate extraction. We can uh, notice that we have some silicon sources that are available almost 50% after 20 days in the solution. But we have most time no silicon available even after 20 days of extraction. Since silicon fertilizer sources differ in their solubility, analytical methods need to be developed in order to predict their ability to provide plant available silicon. What are the benefits on developing methods for potential silicon plant available in the fertilizer? Well, first, methods that can predict potential silicon plant available in the fertilizer is important to the fertilizer industry production and the fertilizer market. The government regulation system will have a useful tool to establish minimum silicon content and tolerance guarantee in the fertilizers. It is difficult to recommend silicon fertilizer to the growers without to know the plant available silicon in the fertilizer. And finally, growers and fertilizer consumers will have much more confidence in their purchase of the real agronomic benefits from the silicon fertilizer. Well, what are the main characteristics of a good method extractor to predict silicon plant available? First and the most important to me, 
high correlation between plant available silicon determinant in the fertilizer and the silicon uptake by the plants. Must be rapid, easy implementation, and low cost. The silicon extracted from the fertilizer should be also closest to the amount of silicon available in short and medium terms in the soil. In 2003, we run an experiment trying to correlate different extractors with uh, silicon rice uptake. So we published this, this paper in 2003. In that paper, we use uh, eight different extractors. Like you see in this uh, figure, most of them has very low correlation with silicon uptake. We use uh, chloridic acid, water, citric acid, and uh, acetic acid. Some other extractor, leaching column. This is a method that have been used in the US for a, a while. We try resin, uh, sodium carbonate, carbonate uh, alone, and sodium carbonate plus ammonium nitrate. That extractor gives us, at that time, the best correlation with plant uptake. What is the principle of the sodium carbonate plus ammonium nitrate? This method is based on the silica solubilization from the fertilizing during five days extraction in an alkaline solution. The ammonium nitrate is the source of protons that helps the formation of monosilicic acid in alkaline solution, enhancing the action of the sodium carbonate. Well, after this work, we publish a book where we describe methods for silicon in soil, plants, and fertilizer. It helped us a lot, our silicon study, after this publication, because we didn't have this uh, clearly, for example, which uh, extract we should be using in the soil, or what is the problem on measuring silicon in the tissue. There, is a lot, there are a lot of problems measuring sil silicon in the tissue, and, and much more problem when we look at the fertilizer. After that, we started a collaboration with the University of Florida, Dr. Detnov, and we sent a Brazilian student to US and uh, we started to review our method, our extractor. And uh, we pretty much uh, run the same experiment we did in Brazil, except from the different sources. We use uh, American sources. In this experiment, we run uh, something from uh, solid material, including also liquid material. It has been published in 2011. At this time, we use, uh, again, a different extractor. We use uh, total silicon. We use citric acid, uh, chloridic acid. This is an extractor used in, in Japan. And acetic acid, resin, again. And the conclusion on this paper is that, based on the correlation coefficient between plant uptake and fertilizer soluble silicon, the best extractor, one more time, for estimating available silicon in the solid fertilizer was sodium carbonate plus ammonium nitrate, five days extraction. Well, the problem, the best extractor for plant available silicon in the fertilizer takes too much time in the lab, five days to get the results. Recent study, a preliminary results tell us that the autoclave can improve and reduce the extraction time from five days recommended in the standard method to less than two hours. The correlation with plant uptake was higher when plant available silicon in the fertilizer was extracted using the same extractor in the autoclave. The amount of silicon extracted by the modify method is higher than the standard method. This larger silicon content range may help to describe better the agronomic efficiency from different silicon fertilizer. Thank you very much.